India is really not a, not a country, it's a continent. And uh, that's something that I think we should really uh, celebrate. And this is what I think all the talks in this series have been attempting to do, to show the interconnectedness of life forms, whether they be humans or plants or animals or starting even with geology and the geological formations uh, that give India the diverse substratum on which different life forms can exist. So I think that all the students and other people who have listened to all these talks uh, should have definitely realized that India is very special. There is no other place on the planet, I think, that has deserts as well as uh, the highest mountains in the world, as well as, you know, a fantastic coastline. Uh, there is no other country on earth today that has these attributes. And I think that if we understand that India is blessed with this diversity, I think we should celebrate it and figure out how to preserve it and conserve it, whether it be language or food or culture or people or genetics or... Uh, we can't get better than this. It's fantastic. And therefore, I really, on behalf of the Academy and the Academy Trust and, uh, you know, the National Council of Museums, Science Museums, and, of course, uh, Partho Mazumdar, whose idea it was to have a, a series of talks of this nature. And I do believe that uh, we should be shouting about our diversity from the rooftops and uh, being so happy and joyous about it. The more diverse we are, the more resilient we will be even with climate change in the future. We have to preserve our diversity. And I hope that this series has given us a sense of how important all of this is. So I don't have any further comments to make, uh, Tirta. So thank all the speakers in the series very much for giving us a sense of this uh, diversity. Um, yeah, uh, thank you, Reni. I'll give a vote of thanks. Um, firstly, I think uh, one has to, right in the beginning, thank uh, Professor Patu Mujumdar, the president of the Indian Academy of Sciences, who conceptualized this series on diversity in India, a topic of urgent relevance, relevance at all times, but also urgent relevance in these fragmented times. Uh, Professor Majumdar is popularly called the Gene Guru and he exemplify, exemplifies what diversity is. He has brought together diverse fields to the benefit of a society. He started with a background in statistics and soon became an expert in population genetics, going on to establish NIBMG where he is now. Um, during this series, we have had eminent speakers truly eminent speakers from different fields of science and the humanities, uh, enlightening us on various topics. Started with uh, Shomnath Dasgupta of Aizar, Kolkata. I uh, spoke on uh, physical diversity. Professor Reni Borges from Indian Institute of Science, uh, ecological diversity. R. Sukumar, also from Indian, Indian Institute of Science and animal diversity. Shubra Chakravarti on plant diversity. G. N. Devi on linguistic diversity, and today's speakers, Madhushri Bandhavadhyay and Anula Goshu, who spoke on human history and diversity in India. Uh, I would like to give my sincere thanks to all the speakers for their time and effort. And uh, this, I, I'm, I sincerely hope this series has made and will keep on making a difference in the minds of the students who have seen and will continue to see these lectures because these, these are on YouTube. You will continue to be on YouTube. Would also like to thank our collaborators, uh, the National Council of Science Museums, whose Director General, 
Director General Orijit Dotto Choudhury updated us on the contributions of NCSM and his colleague Dr. Manos Bakchi, who is usually present in all the talks and has very relevant pertinent questions, shows how well read he is. He couldn't be with us today. He is in Tanjabur making arrangements to open another science museum. I think this series wouldn't have run so well except the excellent support from the academic staff, academic, Indian, Indian Academy of Sciences staff, um, especially Shubhankar and Sumesh, who diligently worked hard for this on all aspects, publicizing and then putting these on YouTube, uh, taking care of the uh, technical aspects. So thank you, Shubhankar and Sumesh, for a, for a great for having done a great deal for this. And lastly, I think we wish to thank all the students and teachers who participated. We have received uh, several papers written by students based on the topics of the talks that is we announced. We invited them to express their thoughts, which they have done. I guess with that, we would like to close this. Thank you very much. Everybody.